analysts are not expecting any major announcements when Nirmala Sitharaman stands up to present vote on account on Thursday. Unlike 5 years ago when the then finance minister Piyush Goyal presented an interim budget, this time the indications are that it will only be a vote on account. A vote on account unlike an interim budget is primarily a nod taken from the parliament for the government to withdraw funds to keep itself going until the new government is sworn in. Speaking at an event last month, Finance Minister Nirmala Sitharaman warned against expecting any spectacular announcements in her speech, pointing out that it is going to be just a vote on account and not a budget. This, however, has not prevented analysts from coming out with their projections for the government's finances during the year starting in April. According to analysts, the government is going to put emphasis on capital expenditure and increased infrastructure spending. Analysts said the government is expected to continue its focus on increasing capex which helps in creating long-term assets that boost economic development. Allocations towards infrastructure spending are expected to rise particularly in areas such as roads, railways and urban infrastructure. In keeping with the spirit of enhancing allocation in railways, the government is expected to increase the outlay for the railways which currently stands at rupees 2.4 lakh crore. This allocation may prioritize track optimization, rolling stock acquisition, safety measures, modernization of existing tracks and bridges, high speed railway corridors and station upgrades. In addition to sustain capex, there may be a shift in focus towards sobs for the rural economy. The government might aim to stimulate demand in rural areas by augmenting allocations for various rural schemes including Manrega. The scope of production linked incentive schemes is anticipated to broaden encompassing sectors such as chemicals and services an extension of the timeline for existing industries like pharma and capital goods may also be considered following the precedent set by the automobile industry analysts also expect the government to announce additional incentives to bolster the residential and commercial property market Certain brokerages anticipate the possibility of introducing tax incentives although it seems improbable this is because a vote on account typically does not include any changes in the tax regime however it's worth noting that a government has the flexibility to make changes in an interim budget